करने वाले इनकी हमने पहले की थी उसमें था स्केरियस नहीं वो था टॉप फाइव विलन इनके ड्रामा इसमें स्केरियस थोड़े मैं खुश भी हूं अगर कोई भूत बात आ गया मैंने बात या नहीं भूत मतलब थोड़ा स्केरी सा थोड़ा समझ रहे हो बट अगर बंदे ही हो तो फिर मुझे नहीं डर लगता <laughs> पता नहीं क्यों अगर आप यहां पे खून लगा तो मुझे डर लग जाएगा चलो मूविंग ऑन नहीं इतना प्रेजेंट करने की बात होती है अगर म्यूजिक से लगा तो ऐसे लगता है अरे पीछे कोई आ गया तो मूविंग ऑन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लास्ट आर दीडियो Korean drama villains never fail to make our blood boil. Uh -huh. Their deceptions, crazy antics, and evil plans constantly hinder the main characters. And yet, they are an indispensable part of the plot. There are villains so cunning that they leave the audience shivering in fear. And today, oh. let's take a look at the scariest villains in K-drama land. Number 1, Jang Han-suk and Choi Myung-hee. Then so Sunset. At first sight, there seems to be nothing to fear about this duo. Mm. There's Han-suk The happy-go-lucky personal assistant of the female lead, and Myung Hee, a former attorney who seems all good-natured, with a liking to Zumba dancing. However, mm -hmm. we can't judge a book by its cover, and the two turn out to be the epitome of evil. They murder without blinking an eye, and to oh. them, justice is trash. Oi, oi, ke. देखो हालांकि है अगर हम रियल लाइफ में देखें तो काफी इसके लिए अगर हम मूवी के प्रेस्पेक्टिव काफी कूद था कोई नहीं है His greed for wealth also pushed him to produce an addictive pain reliever drug, which can cause cancer in long-term consumers. Yet Han Suk couldn't have done it all without the help of Choi Myung Hee, who happily covered his tracks and encouraged the guy to go further. Fortunately, the two get what they deserve in the end. A final dance of fire for the dancer. And a drill to the heart for the heartless monster. ये हम क्यों देख रहे हैं नंबर टू सो मुंजो थोड़ा सा पीप्ड अप था अभी स्ट्रेंजर्स काफी ज्यादा बट अ डेंटिस प्लेड बाय द हैंडसम ली डोंग वुक सीम स्ट्रेट आउट ऑफ अ ड्रीम But in Strangers from Hell, his character So Moon Jo is more like a nightmare. Oh. When he was first introduced, So Moon Jo seemed like a normal man compared to the eccentric residents of Eden Studio. He's portrayed as attentive and caring at his clinic, and even sympathetic and supportive to the male lead. But we soon find out that Moon Jo is a total creep. Who spies on the main character through a peephole and was behind all the gruesome murders at Eden Studio? देखो ओ ओ ये काफी वह बंदा है मुझे तो जैसे वो सही या मूवमेंट वो काफी ईवल थी मतलब ऐसे इसके लिए प्रॉप्स टू एक्टर उसने काफी अच्छी जॉब किया ना मतलब देख रहा है ईवल बंदा ये and it was eerie to watch him take the teeth of his victims to add to his collection. The worst thing about this villain though was that he actually succeeded in his goal. No. He managed to gaslight the male lead and turned him into a similar monster. <laughs> With all the blood on his hands and a creepy obsession, it's needless to say that So Moon Jo is the kind of villain we don't want to find ourselves up against. मुझे ज्यादा स्केरी लगा फास्ट से 
we can already feel our goosebumps rising upon the mention of Mu Taigu, who is perhaps the most iconic villain of all time. Rich, handsome, and played by the brilliant Kim Jae-wook, Mu Taigu is a charismatic character who people would trust, love, and even root for. However, despite his mask as a respectable businessman, Taigu is utterly sick in the head, and probably doesn't have a heart. His insanity streak first appeared when the character was a child, and was worsened by his father covering up his crimes. Later on, he grew to become a serial killer, who enjoys torturing his victims and watching them beg and cry for their lives. Mu is described as a cat who likes a toy with its food, driving excitement from watching people wallowing in pain and misery. It is just pure frightening to witness a full-fledged psychopath and his element. So back out from boys if you have a weak heart. Number four, Beck Jung-hee. Save me. Let's take a break from all the killing, shall we? After all, there are villains who are freaky even without blood on their hands. Save Me is overall an uncomfortable drama to watch. It's stifling, creepy, and gloomy throughout. For a realistic thriller series, it feels more like a morbid horror film. And we have to thank the main villain of the drama for that, as Bik Junki, or Father Bik, is just downright terrifying. In the series, Bik Junki is the charismatic leader of a religious cult, who is all smooth talking and caring in appearance. However, his cult is actually full of brainwashing, gaslighting, manipulation, and torture. Under Bik jung hees control, the cult implements strict punishments to those that disobey, locks up their members, as well as takes advantage of hurt people, and turns them into devoted and mindless followers. He is also a creep who tries to marry the underage female lead, under the guise of for the greater good. Instead of murder, Bik jung hee he breaks his victims mentally. He makes them worship and adore him, despite taking away their everything. It's impossible to miss this man when talking about K-drama villains. Number 5. Choi Eugene, K2 This final case is a bit of an exception. While all the other villains have the audience on edge wishing for their defeat, Choi Eugene of K2 manages to make viewers root for her, and even ship oh. her with the male lead. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Technical difficulties with AS Chalo. Hesitate to take down all that stands in her way. She hides her emotions in her smirks and sharp gazes. Anne seems like a selfish and evil woman that terrifies even her husband. Coffee Eugene evil. also has the greatest weapon in her hand. Information. And oh. used it to her advantage. Taking control of even the most powerful politicians. But that's not all there is to this incredibly complex character. She actually pities her victims, but continues on her path. She locks up her own stepdaughter as a hostage because she wants her husband to never leave. Even her life seems unimportant in light of... 
कि ऐसे क्यों है और टेक्निकल डिफिकल्टीज विद ए एस पार्ट टू नेट जवाब दे गया था अभी <laughs> यार आज ही पता नहीं क्या हो गया अभी इस पे सॉरी She locks up her own stepdaughter as a hostage because she wants her husband to never leave. Ooh. Even her life seems unimportant in light of ambition, as this woman is ready to blow herself up to get what she wants. And Choi Yujin went out with a bang, both literally and in the audience's heart. Oh. इसीलिए कहते हैं अपने सुपने ये काफी बुरी एग्जांपल है पर अपने सुपने फुलफिल करो जो मर्जी हो So that's fine. Oh, sorry, such a bad legend. Well, actually, me. Let's go. Legend. But it's me. These drama villains that are super terrifying to watch. Do you agree? Are there any other villains that you want to add to this list? पहले वाला नहीं मुझे drama लगा. न last वाली भी नहीं. और जो बीच में तीन जो कठे किए हुए थे ना वो सबसे ज़्यादा scariest थे. ठीक है. वो बहुत messed up थे. ठीक है. उनसे तो मैं दूर दूर ये किसी से नहीं मिलना वैसे मुझे. But असल में एग्जिस्ट भी नहीं करते बट फिर भी अगर मान लो हुए तो मुझे किसी से नहीं मिलना मैं ठीक हूं यहाँ पे ठीक है आम, काफी स्केरी विलन्स तीन वाले तो बहुत ज्यादा बाकी चलो चलता है बाकी नॉर्मल थे जो फर्स्ट वाला और लास्ट वाला काफी नॉर्मल डिसेंटली नॉर्मल पर जो बीच में तीन आए थे वो क्रीपीएस्ट थे ठीक है वो उससे तो बहुत डर लगा और चलो अभी कुछ और देखते हैं ठीक है Uh, so thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe i'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>